the Pentabello rotary air engine. This engine is based on the concept seen in some early aircraft where the engine block rotates around a stationary crankshaft. This project will combine several of my building techniques to create what should be my most ridiculous engine yet. I am calling it the Pentabello because it will be driven by five bellows. Here I have attached the pattern for the bellow support frame and air delivery system to 8th inch Baltic birch plywood. The way the construction on this uh, bellow engine is going to work, once you cut these pieces out, then I, I'm going to cut out the interior channels here, which will be, end up being channels that deliver air to the bellows. And I'm going to stack glue them. Nothing else gets cut out on the bottom layer. In the final plan, I'll clean off a lot of these lines that were mainly there for reference. Notch here is to help line things up. They'll get glued together. And the final shape will be cut out right here. Okay. I got the air channels cut out of this guy. So I'm going to glue it on here. I'm actually just going to glue the bottom first because then I want to go in and seal the side grain with, with something. I might use a uh, clear fingernail polish. I've been using that lately. But uh, thin glue will work as well. Continuing now with the three layers glued together, we're going to cut off the outer set side and then we're going to cut out these intersections. I've drilled this out a little small because I'm not quite sure in my plan how I'm going to attach the future power takeoff as it were from this for whatever it might be driving. So we'll cut that out. Notice how it exposes the uh, air channel that's going to be going to the middle portion. This is what she looks like cut out in all our air channels. Spent a little time cleaning up the edges. And uh, I guess I didn't clean them all yet, but now you want to get the edges out. The center, initially I drill it at a half inch, but it's um, 17 30 seconds. So I made this to kind of ream it out to the right size. So that's a 30 second larger than a half inch. I'm making some risers to keep the uh, bellow from rubbing on the uh, structure as it operates. It's made from 16 inch wood. I'm just going to cut it out with a hobby knife. The bellows that are going to drive this particular engine are going to be the same bellow as I made for the beer bottle 2 engine. Um, I came up with a plan that was going to be some, where I placed this on the thin board. It's going to be 3 16 thick and cut them all out. However, although I was sure I had a board that thick, I didn't. So I redid the plan so that it would be glued on, on a 3 quarter of an inch thick board. In this case I had a square dowel. And then I'll just cut it off and cut out the pieces that way. First I'll drill them, of course. For the interior hinge of the bellows, I'm simply taking a little bit of silicone and I'm spreading it over. Well, it seals the inside. That's not entirely necessary, but but it adds a little flexibility to the paper too. It doesn't bind very well to the paper, but there won't be a lot of stress on the uh, the hinge in the end. I'm actually kind of smearing the silicone over the top of the hinge, which I have it in place too. Just 
little extra hold. It certainly would work just fine if you simply glued it in and ran it that way too. I've cut out and creased the bellows in all the directions, both ways, once or twice. I kind of folded it all back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the side with the lines the inside. I'm going to just smear a very thin layer of uh, silicone on it. Small amount. I want to keep it from getting it on the sides because I'm actually going to use wood glue to attach it onto the finished bell frame because that holds much tighter than this and wood. This will give it a flexibility and a little greater strength. Once your silicone layer dries, and kind of reverse the folds back to the way you want them on the, on the uh, finished bellow. Then glue them on to the, the bellow. Typically I'll glue the top and bottom of the front first and I'll glue the sides and kind of glue them on the back right there and now uh, break in the creases. So I'll just put a thin strip of glue on each side and glue it down. Once I glue the sides on and hold things down, kind of pinch the little corners because there's a little excess there. I don't want there to be a gap for any air to get through. Typically the wood glue, you only have to hold it for a short time, it bonds pretty quickly. If unless you put too much on, which will probably cause a whole other range of issues. So we'll let that set up. That's the first bellow. Once you have your bellow glued together, all you have to do is put a little vacuum on here, maybe coax this a little bit, like so, and it'll come right together. Things are pretty stiff right now, but I think once it runs a bit, it'll loosen up. I went with thicker paper, maybe I shouldn't have, but we'll see how it goes.